My name is Callum Roberts and I'm Professor of Marine Conservation at the University of York in England. And I've been studying the seas and how they've been changing over the last several centuries under human influence. Over time, fisheries have developed and have intensified the use of these resources with the effect that now marine life is in retreat almost everywhere across the planet. And what we see is that the abundance of life in the sea has fallen dramatically, often by 10, even 100 or 1,000 fold over the last 50 to 100 years. And that leaves us in a place which is no longer productive or uh, functional in terms of the, the, the support for human livelihoods and well-being. So now we really need to get to a point where we start bringing that back. And that means implementing effective protection and management of the seas. And if you want to look at the, the highest level of protection that is available to us, that is the, the highly protected marine reserve that is essentially off limits to exploitation. And wherever people have established reserves like this and defended them well, we've seen a remarkable comeback in marine life. There's been a, a flourishing of the abundance of important fishery species. Those have flowed into the surrounding fishing grounds where they've benefited local communities and fisheries. One of the places where marine reserves have been in use for the longest is the Philippines, the center of marine biodiversity in the world, but also a place where marine life has been exploited with an extraordinary intensity over time. The other night you had a chance to meet some of the uh, rare campaign managers from the Philippines. Uh, what, what was your reaction to meeting them? I was delighted to meet them because these are the people who the Philippines' future depends on. The, the, the marine life of the Philippines is the Philippines. It's, a, it's an, a maritime nation, one of the biggest archipelagic nations in the world. It has an extraordinary dependence on marine resources, and that dependence relies essentially on good management. And so these people are the, are the hope for the future. They are the ones who can turn around the situation both within their local communities and more broadly nationally as the as the uh, effectiveness of their own protected areas begins to be demonstrated. I think it's going to spread throughout the Philippines very rapidly once that uh, is uh, observed. And I think that is a very effective model that you can use to, to really develop a community's passion and uh, care for the marine environment. And I, I'd love to see Rare uh, multiplying that approach across many seas and nations.